Ever come home to find your dog looking all guilty after, well, let's just say, an incident? Do they actually understand they did something wrong, or are they just putting on an act for treats? In this video, we'll dive into the science of doggy emotions and answer the age-old question, do dogs really say sorry? First up, let's talk about what science says about dog emotions. Dogs are incredibly expressive and can feel various emotions, including joy, fear, anger, and even jealousy. But when it comes to guilt or regret, things get a bit more complicated. Dogs use a combination of vocalizations, body language, and facial expressions to communicate their feelings. For example, a wagging tail and relaxed posture often indicate happiness, while tucked tails and flattened ears may signal fear or anxiety. Let's go a little deeper into how dogs express their emotions. Joy. Dog expressed through playful barks, wagging tails, and a relaxed, open mouth. Dogs often show their joy during playtime or when greeting their loved ones. Fear. Manifested in low body posture, ears pinned back, tail tucked, and possibly shaking. Dogs in fear might also avoid eye contact or attempt to hide. Anger, aggression, shown through bared teeth, growling, stiffening of the body, and focused staring. It's a clear signal to back off. Disgust, less commonly recognized, but dogs can show disgust by turning their head away, flicking their tongue, or even vomiting if they ingest something unpleasant. Love, affection, dogs show love and affection through nuzzling, licking, and seeking physical closeness with you. They may lean against you, bring you toys, or simply sit by your side to show their affection. The guilty look. Ever caught your dog giving you the look after doing something naughty? Those droopy ears, lowered head, and irresistible sad eyes might seem like an apology, but researchers have some surprising insights. Let's dive into what the guilty look really means. The science behind the look. Studies have shown that the guilty look is more likely a response to the owner's behavior, rather than the dog's own acknowledgement of a misdeed. Dogs are incredibly attuned to our emotions and reactions. When they sense anger, disappointment, or frustration in our tone or body language, they may show submissive behaviors to appease us, which we then interpret as guilt, a form of communication. This doesn't mean the guilty look is an attempt at deception or manipulation. Instead, it's a form of communication. Dogs are social animals, and maintaining harmony within their pack, including their human family, is crucial for their well-being. When dogs give what looks like a guilty look, they're actually trying to calm things down because in the past, this kind of behavior led to good outcomes, like being forgiven or things going back to normal. Understanding and responding to the guilty look. Seeing the guilty look as a way dogs communicate, not as them admitting they did something wrong, means we should react differently. Punishing a dog when they look guilty might not work because they did not connect the punishment with what they did. This could make them more anxious and confused. Instead, focusing on teaching and reinforcing desired behaviors is more productive. If you catch your dog in the act of doing something they shouldn't, a firm no followed by redirecting them to an appropriate activity is a more effective response. It's better to strengthen training and preventive measures for incidents discovered after the fact, like keeping temptations out of reach, rather than punishing based on the guilty look. Coming up next, we'll explore how all of this ties into the concept of dogs saying sorry and what apologies really mean in the dog world. Don't forget to hit subscribe and stay tuned. 2. Apology or a natural instinct. So, if dogs might not feel guilt in the way humans do, why do they act like they're saying sorry? The answer might lie in their natural instincts and how they've learned to live with humans. Let's examine the behaviors that dogs use to diffuse tense situations and how these can be mistaken for apologies. What are natural instincts? Many behaviors that look like apologies from your dog are actually driven by their natural survival instincts. As pack animals, dogs need to keep peace within their group to survive. When your dog comes to you with a lowered posture, gentle whining, or submissive gestures, they're not really saying, sorry. Instead, they're trying to calm things down and make sure everything is okay in their pack, which includes you. Is it social harmony or guilt? Your dog cares more about keeping the peace than about right or wrong. When they act like they're apologizing, they do not actually feel guilty. Instead, they're picking up on our emotions and trying to fix any tension. These behaviors are their natural way of staying on good terms with us, not a sign that they're judging their actions. 
Communication and bonding. These behaviors should be viewed as attempts at communication and bonding rather than true apologies. Dogs are highly sensitive to our reactions and emotions. If they sense that their actions have led to displeasure, their response aims to mitigate our upset feelings to restore a positive interaction. It's their way of saying, let's get back to being happy together, rather than, I'm sorry for what I did. Misunderstanding your dog's apologies. It's easy to see these behaviors and think your dogs are apologizing, just like you do. But when you do that, you're misunderstanding what they really mean. Instead of seeing their actions as signs of guilt, you should recognize them as natural responses. This way, you can better understand and communicate with your dogs, knowing they're just trying to keep the peace. Training and prevention. Understanding the root of these apology-like behaviors can also inform your training methods. Instead of expecting dogs to understand and feel guilty about their actions, you should focus on positive reinforcement and preventive strategies. Training should aim to promote behaviors you want to see using treats, praise, and affection, rather than punishing unwanted behaviors after the fact. Three, your dog's apology. Behaviors. So if dogs aren't actually saying sorry like we do, you might be wondering how they make up after a mistake or misbehavior. Well, dogs have their own special ways of fixing things and bringing peace back to the pack. Let's take a look at how your dog does it. How your dog reconciliation. Reconciliation in the animal kingdom refers to how animals make up and re-establish friendly relationships after conflicts. For dogs, this can look like play bows, bringing you their favorite toy, offering treats, or even some mutual grooming. It's their way of saying, let's be buddies again. How your dog makes up after conflict. One of the most recognizable ways dogs make up after a conflict is the play bow. You know, when they lower their front legs and stick their rear end up in the air, often with their tail wagging like crazy. It's their way of saying, hey, let's play and forget about that fight. This playful gesture helps them move past any tension and strengthens their social bonds. Why your dog offers toys. Ever noticed your dog bringing you a toy or nudging you with a treat after a disagreement? It's not just a random act. When they offer you something they know you like, they're trying to rebuild trust and communicate. Grooming as a reconciliation behavior. Grooming is a special way dogs bond with each other. After a disagreement, you might see them licking each other's faces, ears, or even feet. This mutual grooming helps reduce stress and tension and brings them closer together as a pack. How to respond to your dog's apologies. Recognizing and responding to these makeup behaviors is important for keeping a good relationship with your dog. If your dog brings you a toy, starts playing, or engages in grooming after a disagreement, it's key to respond positively. Accept the toy, join in the play, or show some affection back. This not only helps clear up any tension, but also reinforces good behaviors and strengthens your bond. Before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Have you ever caught your dog giving you that guilty look? How do you respond? Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. I love learning about your experiences with your pets. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We've got lots of amazing content coming up that you won't want to miss. See you soon.